those of you who've responded to our Matariki call, uh, welcome to Government House. And as you've heard, I've also acknowledged and farewell those who passed on. But I extend greetings to all of you who are here, gathered for this Matariki celebration this evening. It's a great pleasure for Janine and me to host this Matariki event at Government House. Although it's the first, I don't know whether this is the Although it's the first, that's all. Although it's the first um, Matariki that we've celebrated as a vice regal couple, it's an event that we, Janine and I, want to mark each year, following on from the two previous events that my predecessor, Sir Anan Sachinan, held. So. We had four more to look forward to during my term in office. <laughs> Today I issued my first Matariki message and I'll speak briefly on that um, before we enjoy some wonderful entertainment that will follow. When the stars of Matariki, the tiny eyes, rise on the northeast horizon just before dawn and trace the path of the rising sun, it is a signal for Matariki the Māori New Year celebrations to begin. It also coincides with Marua Roa, or Kapu Roa, the winter solstice, the shortest day in the southern hemisphere when the sun begins its journey back south to its summer maiden. The seven stars of Matariki, the Pleiades or seven sisters in the Taurus constellation, are well known throughout the Pacific. Mata Ali'i in Samoa, Makahiki in Hawaii, and Mata Li'i in Tahiti. Throughout history, they've acted as an important beacon for ocean navigators and for determining our seasons. And so, in that sense, Matariki defines how we live in the Southern Hemisphere, particularly in the South Pacific, and connects us to our kin in the wider Pacific. Its rising signals the transition to a new beginning. Cognizant of our past as we look ahead <coughs> to the bounty of spring and the warmth of summer. Kaputa Matariki ka rere whanui ko te tohu o te tau e. Matariki appears, whanui starts its flight. It is the sign of the new year. <coughs> Matariki is a time of reminiscence, a time to remember our ancestors and to grieve for those who have passed away since its last appearance. Haere atu rā e koro, ki te pai pai o Matariki o Rehua. Haere atu rā. Farewell, old man. Go to the threshold of Matariki, of Rehua. Farewell. Matariki is also a time to be thankful. And so in that sense, it's our thanksgiving for the harvest of the previous year. The storehouses are full, and it's a time for celebrating and for feasting. Ngā kai a Matariki, nā nā ao ake ki runga, the foods of Matariki, Matariki by her scooped hand. Matariki is a time to celebrate the change of seasons, to pass on the knowledge about the forests <coughs> and the land to the young, and to prepare the soil for the coming year. Clear, bright stars mean a favourable and early planting season. If the stars appear hazy and huddled together, it will be a cold winter, and so planting will be delayed. Matariki atua ka eke mai te rangi i ro. Te whangā iho ki te mata o te kau e ro e. Divine Matariki, come forth from the far of heaven. Bestow the first fruits of the year upon us. 
But above all, Matariki is our opportunity to all join together in New Zealand's own moment to reflect on what has been, to be thankful for what we have, and to prepare for what might follow so that we may all share our well-being and national successes. Those of you here tonight represent a variety of fields, disciplines and vocations typical of Aotearoa New Zealand. As a resilient and connected nation of confident, innovative and passionate people, our strength lies embracing, in embracing our heritage, in sharing our knowledge, in celebrating our individual and collective achievements and in supporting each other in both the good times and the sad times. And it's an American author, a political scientist, Leslie Lipson, who's able to capture the essence of our Kiwi community and Phnom Penh when he wrote, if something good is to be had, then the New Zealander will argue, let it be spread as widely as possible. The more who can participate, the better. And in that spirit, tonight we share in celebrating Matariki, to reflect on the year that was and to prepare for the future. It's a time where we can celebrate what makes us unique in this world, what makes us who we are and defines us as New Zealanders. Tonight is also an opportunity for each one of you to meet <coughs> other talented and creative people, to establish new networks and build new relationships that may very well be of use in preparing for your future. <coughs> but there's also a special Matariki gift which the Government House team will ensure you receive as you leave tonight. It's a small jar of apple and porokitl jelly made by our exceptional chefs here at the house. The apples and the porokitl were harvested from our grounds here at the house. And I can assure you, it is, it takes a lot. <laughs> to conclude, and that was not a bribe for you to enjoy the lunch. But to conclude, please continue to enjoy the hospitality of the house. Take this as a special time to celebrate together in this place that holds a distinctive position in the history of our country. So as the Governor-General of New Zealand, I trust you all enjoy reclaiming and celebrating Matariki, this unique event in the calendar of Aotearoa New Zealand. Nō reira, Matariki Fetu, Matariki Fetu ki te rangi. Rangata ora ki te whenu. Matariki star in the sky. Humankind's well-being on earth. Kia ora, hui hui, tātou katoa. Kia ora.